One thing that I think that the um, West probably needs to be a little bit careful of is that... Uh, uh, with the sanctions, so my company blocked all the orders to Russia and it was crazy to fucking witness. Literally launched a script and I blocked like hundreds of orders to Russia. I used to always say that like propaganda is something that everybody does. The US lies about shit, Western countries lie about shit, Russia lies about shit, like it's just kind of the way of the world. It's what no, I expect. It's different Russia. degrees. Yeah, Russia... Has Russia beefed up its attack on Ukraine like the analysts you listened to? Oh shit, said they would or... Fuck you, Steve! Um, I think they're trying to roll more stuff in. Um, but I don't think it's gotten there yet. They're, it's still like all on the way. Do you think there were any other response that makes sense other than sanctions? Do you think sanctions will stop Putin? Um, uh, any other responses? Probably not. Um, will sanctions stop? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see how the Russian economy is affected tomorrow. What's so special about tomorrow? Nothing, actually. I don't know why I said tomorrow. Wait, what is today? Thursday? Oh, no, I don't know why I said tomorrow. Nothing special tomorrow. But I guess I mean, we'll see how it plays out over the next week or two. One thing that I think that the um, West probably needs to be a little bit careful of is that um, I do think you can have like a Western, or I'm sorry, I think you can have like a unified Russian people that do see there being like a greater calling or a greater purpose to what they're doing that might give them the fortitude to weather some amount of economic trouble. Um, I, I don't know how much that is or how deep that runs or if that'll start to change if things get really bad. It probably will. But um, yeah, it'll depend on how successfully... Um, or on how successful Russia's been at negotiating stuff with China or other countries and then kind of becoming like self-sufficient. The scary thing is going to be if like we sever basically all Western ties with Russia, um, if it can stand on its own, even in a slightly troubled state, and Putin does maintain control of the country, then that's bad news bears for us because it probably gives Russia quite a bit more freedom in terms of how they function in neighboring countries since you can't sanction them anymore. Will the U.S. sanction India if they keep trading with Russia? Um, you'd have to ask Eric or Rage Pope. I don't know if historically if we sanction other people who trade with people that we've sanctioned. I don't know if the U.S. traditionally does that or not. We'll do arms sanctions on India because they buy Russian weapons. The most interesting part for me, at least, is going to be how the gas shit is going to pan out. Yeah. A lot of people reply on that shit. It's going to be real interesting. I think, unless things changed, um, the swift removal, I think, excluded Russian oil, um, energy exports. Somebody can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I think that's still safe for Europe. Yeah, but would, would, the, would they just go like, fuck you and cut off the energy exports Probably uh, not, that I would be really rough on Europe because I think Europe has already been in a bit of an energy bind over the past decade so. oh, yeah. can, the, the dependence on like shit like gas bombing yeah it would be hmm. it kind of sucks would be that... interesting to see how it would pan out and then like maybe Europe would just dish out like an insane amount of money to build like infrastructure to like produce their own shit. Well, I think it's not so much producing and refining as well. They just don't have the raw. I don't know if there's much to extract in, in Europe for energy like well, that. Well, I, I mean like renewable shit, I imagine. Oh, like I mean renewables nuclear, is nuclear still, shit. yeah. It seems like Europe is going backwards on nuclear stuff. Like I think France was a world leader yeah. in that. It hasn't France been shutting down nuclear yeah, power Ma plants? No, 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 no. Macron, Macron signed something to like build a shit ton of nuclear stuff. Am I wrong? Did I misread something? Oh, maybe he did. I thought maybe recently did. I thought that France had started to decommission some of the older Russian power plants. Um, now people are saying there's 14 or 13 more for Macron. Okay, that's cool if he is. Announced a major buildup of France's huge nuclear power program. Uh, this was last month. At the oh, maybe it was month. Germany was the only country decommissioning old plans. Pledging to construct up to 14 new generation reactors and fleet of smaller nuclear plants as the country seeks to slash planet warming emissions. Blah blah blah. 
<laughs> now the real question is how much is is it to cut the reliance on everyone else versus a true concern for the environment yeah i mean there's two there's huge security concerns for being self-sufficient with energy as well right the sanctions have been interesting yeah, I think they might have been a, a little bit more swift and a little bit more intense than Putin thought, but who knows? Maybe not. Maybe they really do feel yeah, like they oh, can. Dude, I, I work in a company and like a decent portion. Well, not a decent. I, well, not an eligible portion, I'll put it that way. Of our. Someone's building right next to us, dude. Uh, we should probably shoot at them. Is uh, he upgraded? Yeah. He just upgraded, so it's. Oh yeah, uh, with the sanctions, so my company blocked all the orders to Russia and it was crazy to fucking witness. Literally launched a script and I blocked like hundreds of orders to Russia. Damn. I heard they're blocked from getting like Steam games now and shit. <laughs> Wait, are they? I think so, right? Am I making Dude. that up guys? Did Steam block? Well, how are they gonna make the payments if they're like fucked? So, if you guys even try to raid me, I have a... NATO pack. <laughs> You're blasted, okay? Okay, well, that dude's gonna get destroyed. Finance people were complaining a lot as well. They said, I don't know how true that is, but they said like different yeah. tanks were interpreting the sanctions in a very different way. Hmm. I don't know. He told me the bank names, but I remember that. But yes, I don't the remember the Russian names. one, right? Or yeah, yeah, it's, they like they named like five big ones, and I said like, well, that one, for example, they like we were talking with the consultants from the bank, and they said, well, technically they're like ways to still do it. The sanctions are not that bad, mm -hmm. and I, th I, and the Icana was like, I think, yeah, because he watches Twitch, he said like, I think that bank was like full on copium, because like Steven. that's not, not the reality. It might be that um, this is nasty. It might be that the, um, because I think some of the sanctions, the way that it worked was it was basically just the U.S. wouldn't trade with certain people anymore. And so maybe if you have like other financial intermediaries, maybe you can get around some of them, but. Maybe, but um, <laughs> we, <laughs> my company works through, through uh, two principal companies. Mm -hmm. And one is based in the U.S. and one is based in Europe. Yeah, I think and that's the Europe problem. Is based in, in Europe is based in uh, F Finland out of all places, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not gonna work out i don't think yeah i think that's why people were saying that um some of the u.s financial sanctions were even more severe than um like than cutting them out of swift because so many banks use like the u.s banks as intermediaries and stuff so there's like no purpose or, or, or like it, you basically get completely fucked by getting cut out of a lot of these u.s institutions or like PR speak and HR people were posting in our intranet about like, oh, what we're doing as a company and so on, that we're supporting Ukraine and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Like the typical, the typical show is like, okay, so obviously though, but <laughs> our intranet has like a comment section. It's like, you know, it's like a fucking thread. And there are like people, cause we have an office in Russia. There are people from the Russian office, like spouting propaganda. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I was like reading it and they're like, oh yeah, Ukrainians were behaving badly. So Russia had to step in. Like, that was literally the comment. I couldn't mm -hmm. believe what the fuck I was reading. And this person's like, they seemed intelligent. I don't know what the fuck. One of the things that I noticed, and I used to play this game a lot and I don't anymore, especially after the past week. Um, I used to always say that like propaganda is something that everybody does. The U.S. lies about shit. Western countries lie about shit. Russia lies about shit. Like it's just kind of the way of the world. It's what no, I expect. It's from different right. degrees. Yeah, Russia is so flagrant. Like they actually don't give a fuck. Like Putin will say some shit. Like the reason why we're doing this is because for the last like two years the sky has been green, and that and they'll know it's fault. They don't give a fuck. They'll just say that shit, and it's, they'll just. It's different things one is like more spin based how can we spin this yeah thing? i think that's like western media tries to kind of yeah, spin a little yeah yeah but it's still like rooted in some like not obscene falsehood whereas the other side is like yeah some straight up 
grade A bullshit. Just absolutely, yeah, and they don't even care, right? Like, I don't think U.S., like, st if the U.S. ran state media or if the White House was releasing shit, I don't think they'd be using, like, images from video games. <laughs> Yeah. Whereas Russia like just doesn't give a fuck because by the time anybody um like corrects it like they know nobody cares anyway so it's just like whatever. Well, all the research says like uh, once you put out something that's false and if you rectify it, doesn't like, matter. Yeah, like the outreach is not gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. so. I I don't remember where I read that though, but I do remember reading that. I assume that's true. I mean, you can always just look at, anecdotally, you can go look at, like, Twitter um, and see that, like, look at an original story and then compare that to, like, retractions. They get, like, oh, yeah. one-tenth the engagement, you know? Like, I can write a story about how, like, fucking, you know, Mr. Moon is a and then two weeks later retract it and say, oh, no, this actually didn't happen. And I'll have, like, 20,000 likes on the original and, like, 400 on, like, the retraction. So, like, doesn't matter. Damn, Mr. Moon's a rape shit. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can shit on partnered streamers because I'm not a streamer. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Ban me? Sure. Is that how that works? You could chat. Oh, actually, no. Um, I'll take that back. I think that we did have a Russian style of propaganda president. I think Donald Trump was. I think that he tried. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unironically, I think he tried the same approach where he'll. They would just say like just some outlandishly false yeah. and crazy shit and then it was effective it worked i think i think he did a really good job at like kind of obfuscating stories or getting people on different like media narratives and shit um yeah but but all, there's also the, the difference between like us at least has like half of like congress or whatever like the other yeah and then like, like our media out. is like screaming yeah, out against it like this yeah, is yeah in, yeah. in in russia there's like it's all state control and mm -hmm. it's one one party it's like putin <laughs> that's like yeah if like Trump was like God Emperor tier, like you know, it's a dictator, and he would just control all the media and everything, and there was just one Republican party, the the effect would probably be similar, I mm -hmm. imagine.